Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Socket 5, yeah! Nice, I'm offline, I don't know why, maybe because I'm downloading Game of Thrones. This episode will be like 5 minutes long, because I have to watch those episodes immediately. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm two episodes behind. Anyway, I tried to record another episode earlier, but I kind of, I wasn't too pleased with it, so I decided to, to throw it in the trashkin. Trashkin? I don't know what that is. A mixture between trash can and bin, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Anyway, we're meeting Fulham. Here we go. Awesome! Tomorrow, the 6th of June, will be a very, very, very special day. Sweden's National Day. I don't know if you know about us Swedes, but we're crazy about the National Day. We celebrate it like fools. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Maybe we don't. Um, I mean, wh when it comes to national days, I've heard that it's it's extremely popular in, in USA. I don't know which day it is, but maybe it's sometime in June as well. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but and and in Norway, they're they're fucking mad. <coughs> they have their Sutunde Mai. Yeah, seventeenth of May. I think it is, if I remember correctly. Don't be. What do you call it? Insulted. Don't be feel offended, Norwegians. Just because I don't know your national day. I know, though, that all Norwegians are standing along the roads, waving with their flags. That's, that's what they do, basically. That they wave with their flags the entire day. Yeah. <laughs> and ba basically, isn't that what the Americans does as well? Just that they shoot fireworks as well? I think so. Yeah. But <laughs> we Swedes, we have a day off, we don't work during our national day, but no one's really celebrating it. I mean, sure, there there's some, some guys that, you know, kind of celebrate it, but most of us were just, nah, let's take take a morning to sleep and then do absolutely nothing during, you know, during the rest of the day. Play some computer games, maybe? Yeah. yeah! That's that's the perfect way to, to celebrate your... your you know, nation's day, your national day. Yeah, <laughs> playing video games. Oh yeah, that's kind of sweet. I, I, I think though, I don't know why actually. The Swedes, we are kind of, we, we don't celebrate the national day at all, as I just said. Um, maybe because some people say that it's because we haven't been in a war for 200 years. We don't feel, you know, as threatened when it comes to our nationality. I think maybe but that kind of doesn't make sense because we have a lot of you know nationalistic people as well um, yeah we are not a dream society yeah. yeah even though it might seem so for some people especially ourselves yeah <laughs> but no but th there's a lot of not a lot but there's some racism going on as well or you know some national socialism whatever you call it like you know the Nazi guys liked yeah, this might. I'm. I. I'm not going to talk politics. That. That. That would be. You know, become kind of awkward quite quickly. I. S oh, come on! What the fuck's that? Who the fuck is in the go? Is it what? What do you call that guy? Seaman or whoever it was that did a lot of <laughs> weird stuff in in United, like five or six years ago. That's silly. Luckily, they have me when I don't miss. But, god damn it. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. What to say, I don't know. We, we, we celebrate Midsummer more than our National Day. Much more. In Midsummer, everyone's like dancing around a... a let's, let's call it a tree. It's, it's rather, from the beginning, a, a symbol of, of a penis. Yeah, a fertility symbol. That we dance around, but l l don't don't mention that for the children. I mean, it's it's not a <laughs> sexual holiday in any way, though. We all celebrate that summer's here, like yeah. Then we dance and sing, and then we we eat food, and we drink a shit ton of liquor. Yeah, so so that's kind of what we do. That's that's more like a national day, rather than the actual national national day that we just sleep during. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that's kind of nice. 
But yeah, um, what, what's oh, what the fuck's that attack? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't make sense. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So what else can we talk about? I don't know. A couple of days ago on the subway, I saw the the hottest girl ever. I don't want to seem seem sexist or you know like a man pig in any way. But she was fucking hot. Yeah, not not in the sexy way though, but but in the in the beautiful hot way. Like. I kind of don't know how to describe it. She she had a really short shirt, skirt. Sorry, a really short skirt. Yeah, um, that, that that's hot on most girls, on, unless they're you know really 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 fat. Uh, yeah. And so so that's yeah that that was hot. And then she had a long jacket on top of that. That's kind of sweet. I mean, it it made me think of of this. I think I think they're Americans, really. Yeah, an, an American indie band named Cake. Yes, yes, yes. Look them up, Cake. They they have a song that's actually named "Short Skirt, Long Jacket." Check that one up. It's it's a really awesome song. Um, yeah. I don't know if you like indie, but that song it's it's not it's different in in many ways. So so it's enjoyed by a larger group of people, I guess. Not that it's world famous in any way, but. Oh, oh, come on, offside! Why don't you shoot? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, listen to Cake. Listen to the lyrics in that song. Listen to the feeling of that song. You, you will you'll see what I saw in that girl on the subway. Yeah, that was kind of sweet. I didn't talk to her, though. Typical Swedish. Just looking, never talking. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh. At least not on the subway. Yeah, that's it's kind of <laughs> normal behavior, I guess. Not talking to people. So let's see. Oh, this was a cup. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, that's that's kind of the Swedish subway. You don't talk to anyone. Oh, I dissed my girlfriend. Sorry. You just sit there, staring out of the window, saying nothing. Maybe peeking a little bit, sneak peeking a little bit at other people, but. Basically, you, you do nothing. No. <laughs> That's kind of not nice. No, not nice. I'm just kidding. Let's actually go horse racing. Where, where Where's my horse? Yeah, there it is. Nice. Let's bet some... No, wait a minute. My stable. It's my, it might be time, actually, to... Oh, I can buy another horse. Oh, that's nice. Can I buy spaghetti for Getty? Oh, yeah. How do I buy you? Buy. Yes. Yes. Nice. What, what happens if I want to sell you? 2.8 million! Oh! <laughs> Sweet. Let's actually start off by, by treating you, yeah? Spaghetti forgetty, you're not ready for racing yet. You're, you're still tired. God damn. Let's, let's race backseat driver, yes. My second horse, I bought it. I'm going to bet some money on it. There we go. Oh, come on. You can go faster. You won't lose this. If you do, I'll, I'll fucking behead you. Send you to some some creepy guy in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, you better listen. Yeah, awesome. I like you, horsey. That's good. Sweet. I won. I won. Awesome. Let's let's go back. Actually, let's continue. Yeah, let's play against Bolton. There we go. Let's play another game. See what happens. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bolt on it is then, yeah. <laughs> ah, but yeah, w what about the the pet shop in Not Love? Yeah, uh, wasn't that bolt on? I don't know. If you haven't watched Monty Python, too bad. Yeah! If you watch them, then you might understand. If if you haven't, go watch the the dead parrot sketch. Yeah, then he 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 goes to to a not not the first. Time, but the second time he goes to, to a pet shop in Not Love. Yeah, that's kind of nice actually. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm not Monty Python, I mean, no, no, no young people today enjoys them. At least not the silly ones. I don't know, are, are you silly? The people watching this? If you are, oh, come on. If you are silly, then, then you don't like Monty Python, but if you do like them, then you're awesome. Yeah, that's that's how easy it is. I mean, humor. It's it's as easy as that. Yeah, if you like Monty Python, then you have good humor. 
I mean, you can like other stuff as well, but you, you have to like Monty Python. That's like the key rule. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want, you know, I, I, at least I want to date a girl that doesn't like Monty Python. Yeah. That would be kind of like the ultimate test. You know, you know like, like Ted and Barney in How I Met Your Mother. They tested that girl. Oh, nice one. Tested her with Star Wars. I'll test mine with Monty Python. Yeah. I'll do that. Awesome. Oops. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, that's kind of sweet actually. But okay, I'm 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 really looking forward to 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 Game of Thrones. I haven't seen the last two episodes. I think it's episode eight and nine. I'm going to see them after I recorded this episode. I might I might actually upload this one while I'm watching. So if you if you see this episode, then you know what I was doing while I was uploading it. Or you know, yeah. That's kind of sweet. So actually, I actually loaded up with Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi is so much better than Coca-Cola. Yeah, if you don't agree, then then it's like Monty Python. I mean, okay, you might you might like Coca-Cola, but you you have to like Pepsi more. If you don't, then you know nothing about soft drinks. I feel that I might. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of silly. A lot of people actually takes takes that soft drink talk serious. If if I'm like I like Pepsi, you know Pepsi tastes better than than Coca Cola. They're like, no, you're wrong. Coca Cola so much better. Yeah. Like that, you know. And they don't really understand that I'm just I'm I'm not joking, but I'm not saying that Coca Cola is bad either. But they're like, yeah, you're so fucking stupid. Yes, because you like Pepsi more. Yeah. yeah. Typical silly people. Yeah. I guess they're everywhere. And then, but, you know, if you're not from Sweden, you'll never know, but Trocadero, oh, that's, oh, that's the drink of my life, of every Swede's life. If you watch Robas, then you know he's a, he's a, not just a, 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 a Trocadero fan, but he's a Trocadero fanatic. I'm kind of the same, not in the same way, but it's really good. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like a mixture between if you have Sprite, apple juice, and everything in the world that's really, really sweet and good tasting. Then you have Trocadero. Yeah. Someday I will have a fucking contest. And the winner will be sent a 1.5 liter bottle of Trocadero. Yeah. Maybe the police will open it on the way, thinking that it's some kind of a liquid bomb. But let's see, it's just Trocadero. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of good. Yeah, someday, some of you viewers will win a Trocadero. Yeah. And you'll taste, taste, the, you know, the taste of God. Or just heaven. Yeah, maybe you don't believe in God. Maybe you just believe in heaven. Maybe you don't even believe in heaven, but it can still taste like heaven if you can imagine heaven. You don't have to believe in stuff to be able to imagine it, no? That's usually how it works with fantasy books and so on, like the Bible. Yeah. I feel like I'm insulting religious people as well now. Religious people, people that like Coke, and people that do not like Monty Python. I'm sorry. I just can't, <laughs> you know. I just can't let it be. I, I need to insult you because... Uh, okay, religion might be... Uh, 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 that might be a little bit sensitive to dis discuss, but... I mean, oh, come on. What was that? It was a fucking pass, boss. Not my fault that he sucked. Yeah. Oh, now you're saying good. Yeah, fuck off. But, anyway, yeah. Drink Pepsi. Or drink Trocadero. Can't we just start a worldwide revolution? In which everyone starts to drink Trocadero instead of, of Coca-Cola and Pepsi and fucking like Mountain Dew and whatever disgusting shit there is. Yeah. That might be something. The soft drink revolution. Sweet. That would actually be kind of sweet, yeah. Okay, let's continue. We beat them. That's nice. But, yeah. Let's see. Your boss wants to... After dinner speech? will improve your relationship but cost you 15 NG. Yeah, I know how it is after dinner when you're like 
stuffed, completely stuffed. You have to get up and hold a speech. Can't you just do the speeches before dinner? That'd be so much more easy. Then you don't have to waste a lot of <laughs> energy just getting out of your seat. Yeah, sure. I'll, no, I won't fucking do that. Asshole. Hold your own goddamn speech. Why do you demand that I do it? Fucking douchebag. Let's go back. Let's, let's actually go to my horses. Yeah, fuck you, boss. My stable, are you? Oh, they're both! Let's race Spaghetti Forgetti! Yes! Come on, Spaghetti! Forgetti! Let's race you! Oh, it's a black one! That's awesome! Yeah! But you still have to win. If you don't, I'll... Okay, maybe. Maybe I can give you a couple of tries before I sell you, douchebag. I lost 5,000, goddammit. But, we got some prize money. Because it was second goal. 25,000? Not bad. That's good. Let's go to my stable. Maybe I can develop some kind of, you know, horse industry? Yeah. Let's go with backseat driver again. Race. Yes. There we go. 5,000 and you. Good. Good, I say. Yeah, go faster. If you do. Yeah, there you go. Show Spaghetti Forgetti how it's done. Yeah. Oh, don't you, don't you, no, don't you lose this one. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. He won. <laughs> nice. Close call, though. Backseat driver, yeah. Let's see, we're done. Sweet. Let's actually play another game. Let's, let's beat Sparta. Let's do that. Let's beat the Spartans. Or meet. Or greet. Then we meet. Now, first we meet, then we greet, and then we beat. Yeah. So, here we go again. Another game. Another sunny day. Another opportunity to score a lot of goals. That'd be just what I want and need right now. <laughs> Yet, Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, so close. Yet, so far away. I heard that a lot of people are going to die after the great wedding. I already know who, whom. What did you say? Who? No, I already know who are going to die. And I know, oh, there we go, I know how to use that word, whom. I know who is going to kill whom. Yes, <laughs> I'm not going to say, say it though, because some people might not like spoilers. Um, but I know because I got spoiled for, I didn't want to get spoiled for though, but I got it completely. Um, okay, sure. <laughs> offside though, how the fuck can it be offside down there? Weird. Oh, look at this. Oh, stupid call. Fuck you. Stupid call. Calling me stupid call. Oh, stupid call again. You wanna go? You wanna go, boss? You wanna go? Maybe I'll leave. I'll go to fucking Dortmund or something. Yeah, I want to go to fucking Dortmund. Yeah, too bad they lost the Champions League final. Not too much to do, though. I mean, I won't take it away from Bayern Munich. Bayern München. But. I would have enjoyed, you know, if, if the good guys would have actually won. But not every every reality real situation can be like in the movies, you know. Sometimes the good guys gotta lose as well. Yeah. But I mean Biden mentioned didn't play too bad though, I mean yeah. They they were my, maybe they were a little bit lucky, but they surely weren't the you know, the worst team. They were kind of it was an even final actually, yeah. Oh, we haven't scored yet in this game, but now we have. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, but it was kind of... Yeah, I would have wanted Dortmund to win, actually, because... I, I like their way to play. I like that they don't just buy a lot of big players. I like that they show that you can actually be a smaller team. Well, maybe not smaller, but you know, you, can, you don't have to buy the most expensive players to actually get somewhere that I like yeah and therefore I thought that they uh, I wanted them to win yeah I mean instead we had to see the fucking diva Robin stand there in front of the fans like he was some kind of a god after the game I fucking I, what are you called I despise him or whatever you call not disguise That's, <laughs> that'd be kinda nice I disguise him to some furry animal, maybe. No, but I discuss. Yeah! I find him not like a 
person, like a likable person, yeah, you know what I mean? Fucking, fucking diva. Too bad he was the one to score the goal. Couldn't just, you know, Lam or someone score. That'd be so much more nice. And, oh, nice one. Yeah, because, I mean, Lam I have a lot of respect for. And he would, and, you know, I would have wanted him to score. Then I could actually have given the, the victory completely to, to Bayern München. But now Robin ha had to go there and fucking miss the ball halfly and, and yet score. Yeah, and then, I mean, the rest of the team, they were celebrating like a team. Meanwhile, he was standing there with, with his arms out in front of the fans, like he was the team. Oh, fucking go to Real Madrid or something, you belong there. Douchebag or city, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah! I fucking hate him. Yeah. I don't like Dutch, Dutch football players. They're good when it comes to shooting, shooting, you know, but I don't like them in general. Dutch football players, they're fucking divas, all of them. What's wrong with them? <laughs> I mean, let's look at them. Van Persie, he, yeah, okay, he's kind of a team player, but still, he's a little bit of a diva. I mean, Ruud van Nistelrooy, he was alright, but some of them, Schneider, Robin, Percy. They got a, good, a lot of good players, but goddamn, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're too good for their own good, or for you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe. I mean, okay, maybe they can be you know divas rightfully, maybe, yes maybe, but still, good position. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh come on, that was should have been a penalty. Goddamn. Oh, okay, <laughs> close one, oh no, but yeah, <laughs> fuck, fuck the Dutch people, no, I won't insult no more people today, you go Dutch people, I love you, I love your windmills, I love your, you know, wooden shoes, we got those as well, but, I mean, yours are completely out of wood, that's kind of more nice, what, what more do you like about Holland, or, yeah, the Netherlands, maybe the tulips? Yeah, I like tulips. Yeah. Yeah! Tulips are great. They are. What more do you have? You have Amsterdam stuffed with hookers and drugs. It's kind of awesome. Yeah. You go, Dutch people. I like you. Yes, not the footballers. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how it is, I guess. I, I think you agree. Yeah, I think so. But okay, yeah, so we won another game. That's all right, actually. And um, thank you all for watching. Now I'm going to watch some goddamn Game of Thrones because I'm off tomorrow. It's our national day, 6th of June. I won't celebrate it at all because I guess I care more about the society rather than the actual country, maybe? Yeah, but you'll have a great great day and great evening and a great time in general hopefully I'll, I'll see you all around at the next time and yeah have a nice time everybody goodbye